This week, Secretary Austin will travel to the Indo-Pacific for his 11th trip to the region as Secretary of Defense. First, the Secretary will visit Tokyo, where he'll sit down with Secretary of State Blinken and their Japanese counterparts for the U.S.-Japan Security Consultative Committee meeting, or the 2 plus 2. Together, they'll discuss our shared goals to strengthen regional peace and stability, and they'll advance our historic work together on deterrence capabilities, defense industrial cooperation, collaboration with other Indo-Pacific partners, and more. Secretary Austin will also join his counterparts from Japan and the Republic of Korea for the first ever meeting in Tokyo of the defense ministers from our three countries, less than one year after President Biden's historic Camp David summit with Prime Minister Kishida and President Yoon, our trilateral security partnership continues to break new ground. From there, Secretary Austin will travel to Manila for the U.S.-Philippines 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue with Secretary Blinken and their counterparts. Our alliance with the Philippines is stronger today than ever before, and you can expect major announcements about concrete steps we're taking to make the alliance even stronger in the future. That looks like supporting the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine Coast Guard. It looks like seeking unprecedented infrastructure investments at key Philippine military sites under our Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. And it looks like operating together like never before, including with allies and partners all across the region. And after returning to the United States, Secretary Austin and Secretary Blinken will host their Australian counterparts in Annapolis for the Australia-US Ministerial Consultations, or AUSMAN. Our unbreakable alliance with Australia continues to deliver major results on everything from force posture and capability development to co-production and multilateral exercises. And we're poised to achieve so much more together. So here's the bottom line. Over the course of just 10 days, Secretary Austin will sit down with his counterparts from four of America's closest allies in the world. That's unprecedented. And so are the results we're delivering for regional peace and stability. You can visit defense.gov slash Indo-Pacific to get updates from Secretary Austin's 11th trip to the region and to learn more about the department's work with U.S. allies and partners. Thanks for watching.